How to make greeting cards in Canva. Create professional greeting cards in Canva. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can create professional greeting cards in Canva. And it's very simple and easy and you can create both basic flat cards and both foldable cards. So let's get into it. Now to get started, all you need to do is head on over to Canva and search for greeting card. Now, you can choose any size you want. You can choose a landscape card so you can open this up and this will show you a bunch of different templates. All of these templates are usually for people that are looking to create a flat card. So if you want to create a flat card, you can just open this up and choose it as it is. If you want to create a foldable card, simply go back into the homepage on Canva or just click on create a design over here and you can click on custom size. Now from here, change it from pixels to inches and then enter the height and width you want for your card so it should be the entire width of the double-sided width so let's say I want to make a six inch front and a nine inch height then I would actually be putting 12 inches and nine inches because uh, the 12 is going to be the half so I need to multiply it by two to make sure that it's a foldable card so whatever size you want your foldable card to be enter just the twice the amount of width and this the same height so let's say i want to make a five by five inch card so i'm going to enter the width as 10 and then i'm going to enter the height as five and i will simply open this up so you can see now my card has been created now from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the element section over here and you can just go into the element section and you will see lines and shapes and i will just take this flat line over here you can take a dotted line if you want and i will rotate this to 90 degrees or minus 90 and then you will simply place it on this purple line so when i move around this line you will be able to see a purple line is appearing when i place it over here once i've done that i'm just going to expand this making sure it is straight and this is just going to allow me to know where my card is going to be folded so this is the section where my card is going to be folded and i will just select this line over here you can make it slightly thicker if you want you can make it dotted i'm just going to make it slightly thicker so it's easier for me to see but after that i will click on the lock on the top right and this will enable me to see where the card is going to be folded now i can go back into the element section and begin in designing my card so for this you can choose any kind of theme you want let's say i want to make a christmas theme card so i will just search for christmas so uh, I'm going to click on Christmas background and you can see there are quite a few different options that you have. I'm going to pick out one of these little illustrations and I can change the color as well. So I'm just going to expand this over the entire card. And if you want to copy a illustration, if you don't want to expand it too much because expanding a image or a element too much can ruin the quality of the image, just do command C and command V. It will copy and paste that. And if you're using a Windows device, just use control C and control V. And then I can place it on the other side over here, just like that. You have quite a few different options and themes that you can choose from. Now, after that, I might want to add some more elements so I can take these elements over here and i can begin adding those as well so i'm just going to add these elements to my card just like so or maybe not these ones i don't think they fit well instead i might want to add these ones instead and you can always choose to change the background of your canvas you can enter a simple background as well you can enter any kind of colors you want let's say i want to go with christmas color so i might want to add like a dull kind of red to better help illustrate my card like so like this and i'm going to change the color of these elements to white like so and i'm just aligning everything how i like it you can do this with any kind of elements you have you will get these purple lines to better see how everything is lining up like this and on this i want the density of the stars to lower so i will just expand the design a little and i will go on ahead and click on send backwards so it is sent behind the trees you can also click on send to back to send the item to the entire back and then you can click on the transparency on the top right and make it semi-transparent to better help illustrate the rest of your text now after that i can just go into the element section and let's say i want to now add my text so i will just click on the text section over here and you can choose any of these font combos i will just click on add heading 
So I am just going to take this text over here and I will place it in the center of this section of my little card and then I will simply click on the font on the top right. I can change it to any font. I have a bunch of different fonts that you can, you will all, you guys will get a bunch of different fonts that you can choose from. So I will choose this font over here and let's say I want it to just be at the center like this. And I can also go into the element section and add some more details. So I can click on Christmas and I can click on the graphic section. I can enter some wreaths on the top as well just to further decor my card. And then I can go on ahead and enter a wreath around the text as well. So you can place a little wreath and if you want to place the text within your little wreath if you want it to be you know rounded then you're just going to place this click on your text click on effects and then click on curve on the bottom left and you can curve your text however you want as well so this is another option for people that are looking to you know further design their cards in a more interesting way so i will just place my text like so and now what you're going to do if you want to make this a foldable card which we are designing now once you have completed your design we will remove this black line so you will click on the unlock section on the top right and then you can just click on the line the black line that you have and just make sure you're clicking on the line like this and then you can click on delete to remove that line and then after that what you're going to do is you're simply going to click on duplicate page and then once you've duplicated the page you're just going to delete any of these sections that you don't want so let's say I didn't want any of those elements, I will simply remove those. Click on Command C and Command V for the element that I want to add more. And then you can add the black line again. If you don't want to do this step, then you can just go on ahead and leave the black line in the first page. Click on Duplicate Page and then remove the black lines together later on. But I'm just deleting all the elements that I don't want adding this section to the other side and now I am going to print the inside of my card so whatever you want to paste on the inside so let's say I want to continue with over here and maybe I want to add a family photo so I can just enter this like so and I can rotate this to a 180 degree like this and now I can enter a image you can click on the element section and search for grid and you can use a simple grid as well to place the image right at this little section. So place your wreaths over here, customize the size of your grid like so. And now I'm just going to take a sample image, you can upload your own. So I'm just going to place this image within the grid and then you can go into the text section and enter any of the text that you want. And this is an amazing little foldable greeting card that you have created. You can also create other kinds of cards as well. If you want a flat card, you don't have to do the uh, little line method that I showed you guys. But if you do have a foldable card, it is pretty simple as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.